Hello friends, myself Dada Trezado. I am from AGM College, Karad. In previous video, we have studied the examples on substitution. Okay. Uh, today we are also learning some examples on substitution. Here is the first example on substitution. Evaluate integration. 1 plus x divided by x into sin of x plus log x. Sin of x plus log x dx. Okay. So, in solution, first it is an example of integration. So, denote that integration by i. In solution, write let i is equal to integration of 1 plus x divided by x into sin of x plus log x. In substitution method, we find the function whose derivative we find the function whose derivative is inside the integration set. Okay? That function is here log x. Derivative of log x is 1 upon x. But what about x? Okay? So I can substitute for x plus log x because because derivative of x plus log x is look at it. Put x plus log x is equal to b on differentiating. We know that derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of log x is 1 upon x. Since it is a differentiated with respect to x, so multiply it by b is easy. Derivative of b is 1. When it is 1, when the RHS is differentiated with respect to t. So multiply it by dt. 1 into dt is dt. And here is that term. Okay. 1 plus 1 upon x is nothing but x plus 1 divided by x into dx is equal to dt. Here is that term. x plus 1 divided by x. Okay. dx is nothing but dt. So, our proper substitution is x plus log x, not only log x. Okay? So, integration becomes i is equal to the integration of x plus 1 divided by x is its dt. 1 upon. In denominator, there is sine of x plus log x and we substitute t for x plus log x. So, 1 upon sine t dt. Remember here, all the terms are in t. Means that substitution is a proper substitution. So, integration. Remember 1 upon sin is 1. Cosec. So, 1 upon sin t is cosec t dt. And we know that integration of cosec x dx. Integration of cosec x is log of mod of cosec x minus cot x plus c. So, integration of cosec t is log of mod of cosec t minus part t plus constant of integration. But here is the answer in the variable t. So, resubstitute the value of t that is x plus log x. So, integration becomes i is equal to in log of i is equal to log of mod of cosec replace t by x plus log x cosec of x plus log x minus cot of t t is what x plus log x plus constant of integration c here is the final answer of the example integration of 1 plus x divided by x into sin of x plus log x dx okay now, next example is Evaluate integration of x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 into a raised to x plus tan inverse x a raised to x plus tan inverse x dx Okay? First, 
it is the example of integration so denote the given integration by i in solution right let i is equal to integration of x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 into a raised to x plus tan inverse x okay now look at here if the substitution is possible we know that derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square and here is the term 1 plus x square okay now what about x square plus 2 so make a proper substitution here now I can substitute for the term x plus tan inverse x okay why look at it x plus tan inverse x is equal to t on differentiating when we differentiate we get LHS is differentiated with respect to x derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of tan inverse x is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus x square since LHS is differentiated with respect to x so multiplied it by dx is equal to derivative of t is 1 since it is differentiated with respect to t multiplied it by dt 1 into dt is dt Okay, after simplification, yes, after simplification, making denominator same, making denominator 1 plus x square or x square plus 1, 1 plus x square into 1, 1 plus x square, and here is plus 1, okay, dx is equal to dt, which is nothing but x square plus 2, 1 plus 1, 2, divided by x square plus 1 into dx is equal to dt. We substitute for x plus tan inverse x because derivative of x plus tan inverse x is x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 into dx. And here is that term x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 into dx. Okay? So instead of that term we find it's dt. So integration becomes i is equal to okay a as it is raised to x plus tan inverse x, x plus tan inverse x is t, a raised to t into, yes, value of x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 dx is t. Now, integration of a raised to x is what? a raised to x divided by log. So, integration of a raised to t is what? a raised to t divided by log a plus constant of integration replace t by replace t by x plus tan inverse x so if value of that integration or answer of that integration is a is t t is what x plus tan inverse x divided by yes log a plus constant of integration c here is the final answer of the second example Okay, now third example is here. Evaluate integration. Evaluate integration e raised to two x plus one divided by e raised to two x plus one divided by e raised to two x minus one. Okay, evaluate integration e raised to two x plus one divided by e raised to two x minus one dx. Okay, first check the example is of which type it's algebraic or trigonometric here example is algebraic so first check whether the substitution is possible for substitution we find the function and its derivative i know derivative of e is to 2 x is e is to 2 x into derivative of 2 x is 2 but there is no terms okay therefore remember one step here. It's very important. First, we know the given integration by i in solution let i is equal to. Remember this step. Multiply numerator and denominator by e raised to minus x. Or divide numerator and denominator by e raised to x. After that step, you have solved. You solve the example. So I can multiply or divide by e raised to x. So it becomes e raised to 2x plus 1 divided by e raised to x divided by 
e raised to two x minus one divided by e raised to x. I divide numerator and denominator by e raised to x. Okay. After simple multiplication or separating denominator, e raised to x divided by e raised to x is e raised to x plus here is one upon e raised to x. One upon e raised to x is nothing but e raised to minus x by law of indices. Okay. E one upon e is equal to e raised to minus. Okay. So one upon e raised to x is e raised to minus x. E raised to x divided by e raised to x. One e raised to x get cancelled. It's e raised to x minus one upon e raised to x is nothing but e raised to minus x dx. Okay. Look at here. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x minus. Derivative of e raised to minus x is what? Derivative of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x into minus one. That is minus minus becomes plus. Okay. Derivative of denominator is in numerator. So substitute for the term. Put e raised to x minus e raised to minus x is equal to t on differentiating. Okay. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x minus as it is. Derivative of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x into derivative of minus x, that is minus one into dx. Since it is differentiated with respect to x, e is equal to derivative of d is one, but d RHS is in d multiplied by differential d. Okay. After simplification, yes, minus minus becomes plus. So e raised to x plus e raised to Minus x dx is equal to dt. Okay, and here is that term. E raised to x plus e raised to minus x dx. Okay, so integration becomes i is equal to here i is equal to what happen here? Yes, one upon integration one upon instead of e raised to x minus e raised to minus x, we write here t one upon t. And for the term e raised to x plus e raised to minus x dx, we write dt. So it's one upon t dt. What is the integration of one upon x? Integration of one upon x is log of mod x. So integration of one upon t is log of mod t plus c. But our example is in variable x. So resubstitute the value of t. Resubstitute in the value of t is what? E raised to x minus e raised to minus x. So answer of the example is log of mod of t. What is t? E raised to x minus e raised to minus x plus. This is the final answer of the given example. Okay. Next example is evaluate integration of e raised to x. Evaluate integration of e raised to x into log of sine of e raised to x. E raised to x into log of sine of e raised to x. Okay. Divided by tan of e raised to x dx. Divided by tan of e raised to x dx. Okay. First, denote the given integration by i. So let i is equal to integration of e raised to x into log of sine of e raised to x divided by tan of e raised to x dx. Okay. Now look at this. Here in uh, the above example, we know that uh, derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. Okay. So we substitute for e raised to x. After substituting, substituting, we have to substitute twice in the example. So avoiding the substitution twice, we substitute for only one term, which is put. I can substitute for log of sine of e is to x. Why? To avoid. The double substitution. Okay, I can substitute log of sine of e raised to x is equal to t. Okay, after substitution on differentiating. 
Okay, differentiating derivative of log log of x is on one upon x. Derivative of sine of e raised to x is on one upon sine of e raised to x into derivative of sine of e raised to x. Derivative of sine of e raised to x is cos of e raised to x into derivative of e raised to x. That is e raised to x. Since it is multiple, since it is differentiated with respect to e, so multiply it by. Since it is differentiated with respect to x, so multiply it by dx, which is equal to derivative of e is one. When it is one, when RHS is differentiated with respect to e, so multiply it by d. Okay, therefore we know that cos upon sine, cos upon sine is one. Quad, so quad of e raised to x. Into e raised to x dx is equal to d. But there is no tan of e raised to x, so I can write this as e raised to x. Cot x is nothing but one upon tan x. E raised to x divided by tan of e raised to x dx is equal to d t. And here is that term. E raised to x divided by tan of e raised to x into d x is equal to d t. So integration becomes integration becomes log of sine of e raised to x dt t integration of t dt. Okay, integration of t dt. What is the integration of x? It's x square upon two. What is the integration of t? It's t square upon two plus one step of integration c. What is t? Resubstitute the value of t. T is log of Sine of e raised to x bracket square. Okay, I can put curly bracket here. Divided by two plus constant of integration c, which is the final answer of the given example. Okay, next question is evaluate integration x. Okay, evaluate integration x six square of x square x into six square of x square divided by square root of tan cube of x square square root of tan cube of x square. Okay. Okay. Now in this example, check whether the substitution is possible or not. Find the function whose derivative is then. Okay, we know that derivative of tan is derivative of tan x is six square x. So, avoiding double substitution, make a proper substitution. Derivative of tan of x square is look at here. I can put first denote the given integration by i. Let i is equal to integration of x into six square of x square divided by square root of tan cube of x square dx. Put tan of x square. Is equal to t. Why we substitute tan of x square is equal to t? Look at it. On the differentiating, when we differentiate, LHS is in x, so differentiating LHS with respect to x and RHS in t with respect to t. Tan of x square, derivative of tan of x square is six square of x square, and here is that term six square of x square. That's why we substitute for tan of x square. Okay. Six square of x square into d dx of that opposite function x square. Derivative of x square is two x is equal to derivative of one t is one since it is sorry six square of x square into two x since it is differentiated with respect to x so multiplied it by dx is equal to derivative of t is one multiplied by dt since it is differentiated with respect to t so. Six square of x square into two x dx is equal to dt. Therefore, but there is only term x six square of x square. So I can divide both sides by two. We get six square of x square into x dx is equal to dt divided by two. Two to get cancel. Okay. Now look at here. X six square of x square into dx. Here is that term. Instead of that term, I can write dt divided by two. So integration becomes dt divided by two whole divided by root tan of x square is equal to t root 
टी क्यू क्यू ओके आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ न्यूमरेटर कम्स इन डिनोमिनेटर एंड इट्स लुक्स लाइक इट्स वन अपॉन टू टी रेस टू थ्री बाई टू डी टू ओके ना रूट मींस रेस टू हाफ ए रेस टू एम रेस टू एम टी रेस टू थ्री रेस टू हाफ टी रेस टू थ्री बाई टू वन अपॉन टू इज वन अपॉन टू इज कांस्टेंट सो टेक आउटसाइड द इंटीग्रेशन साइन and here is the integration of t is to minus 3 by 2 dt okay converting positive power in terms of negative because we know the integration of a is squared not of 1 upon a is squared okay so integration becomes 1 upon 2 into add power by 1 t is to minus 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 3 by 2 plus 1 and divided by same power plus constant of integration is 1 upon 2 in minus 3 by 2 plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 uh, sorry minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 by 2 so t is 2 minus 1 by 2 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus constant of integration c to to get cancel so to get cancel yes answer is minus 1 upon t is to half t is to half is nothing but root t plus c okay which is equal to minus 1 upon replace t by tan of x square or root of tan of x square plus constant of integration c which is the final answer of the given question Yes, minus one upon tan of x squared plus one square of integration c. Uh, next example is here. Evaluate integration sine four x. Evaluate integration sine four x divided by uh, sorry sine four x into cos two x. Evaluate integration sine four x into cos two x squared. Okay. First, denote the given integration by i. So let i is equal to. Look at here. Is the substitution is possible? Yes. Derivative of sine x is cos x. But there is the term of cos two x. So I can split that term. Sine four x into cos two x into cos x. Writing cos two x as cos two x into cos x dx, which is equal to integration. Of. Now converting. That cos square x in terms of sine square x. So one plus sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. So cos square theta is equal to one minus sine square theta. So cos square x right can be written as one minus sine square x into cos x dx. Now substitute it. Put put for which term whose derivative is there. Okay, derivative of sine x is cos x. So put for sine x is equal to t on differentiating. Derivative of sine x is cos x dx is equal to dt. Okay, and here is that term cos x dx. So integration becomes i is equal to instead of sine x I can write t. So it's t raised to four into one minus instead of sine x I can write t. It's t square. So t four into one minus t square, and cos x dx is nothing but dt, which is equal to one mul multiplied by t raised to four. T raised to four into one t raised to four minus t raised to four into t raised to two t minus t raised to six dt. Inside the integration there is subtraction, so we separate the integration symbol with dt. Integration of t raised to four. dt minus integration of t raised to six dt. Okay. Now, yes, uh, we know that the integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus one upon n plus one. So integration of t raised to four is t raised to five upon five minus integration of t raised to six is t raised to seven upon seven plus one set of integration c. But answer is in variable t because of our substitution. So we substitute for yes t t is what sine x so answer is 
sin 3 x divided by 5 minus sin 7 x divided by 7 plus constant of integration c and here is the final answer ok moving to next example evaluate integration cos x evaluate integration cos x divided by sin of x minus c cos x divided by sin of x minus a first the given integration by i so in solution right let i is equal to integration of cos x divided by sin of x minus a remember when angle is uh, like x minus a x minus b a minus b a plus b then we adjust the angle of denominator in numerators ok so here I can adjust the angle of denominator angle of denominator is what here x minus a I can adjust in numerator ok so it's cos of x minus a but there is only term of x means we subtract a here ok for maintaining equality we add a divided by sin of x minus a denominator as it is ok now consider that first angle x minus a as a and second angle as b so we get cos of a plus b and we know that cos of a plus b yes formula for cos of a plus b cos of a plus b is cos a cos b yes here is plus so formula in R in RHS there is a minus sign minus sign a sin b ok using that formula in numerator so it becomes cos of x minus a into cos a minus sin of x minus a into sin a divided by sin of x minus a dx ok now on separating denominator when denominator is separated to both the terms therefore next step is Integration of cos x minus a divided by sin x minus a. It's cot of x minus a into cos a minus sin of x minus a sin of x minus a get cancelled. So what's remaining here? Sin a dx. Inside the integration there is subtraction. So separate the integration sign. So it becomes integration of cot of x minus a into cos a dx. Minus integration of sin dx. We know that a, b, c first alphabets are constants while x, y, z that is last alphabets are variable. So here is cos a. Cos a is constant. Take outside the integration sign. Sin a is constant. Take outside the integration sign. So i is equal to. Yes. Cos a is constant. Cos a into integration of cot of x minus a dx minus sin a is constant integration of here 1 ok cos a as it is integration of cot of x minus a in previous video we learned integration of cot x integration of cot x is log of mod of sin x so log of mod of sin of here angle is x minus divided by coefficient of x that is one, don't write there. Okay. Minus sin a constant as it is into integration of one is x plus constant of integration c. It's our uh, final answer of this question. Okay. Now last example is here is the last example. Evaluate integration of two x plus one into root of x plus 2 to x plus 1 into root of x plus 2 dx ok look at in this example when any function is in root or when the function's powers are rational numbers like uh, root means 1 upon 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 then substitute for the x plus 2 ok means substitute for the function inside that power rational powers rational powers okay 
first we know the given integration by i so let i is equal to put x plus 2 is equal to t okay me punna ekda sangto jevha apan ekada example solve karat ahat tevha tumcha ekada function root madhe ala manje raise to half rational power madhe ala raise to 3 by 2 raise to 5 by 2 madhe ala tar tumhi kay karaycha tya madhe adaklele function bad substitution karaycha put x plus 2 is equal to t on differentiating derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 2 is 0 since it is differentiated with respect to x multiply it by x is equal to dt okay from x plus 2 is equal to t we get value of x value of x is t minus 2 okay so integration becomes i is equal to 2 into value of x is t minus 2 2 into t minus 2 plus 1 into root of instead of x plus 2 we write t root t and instead of dx we write dt on simplification we get 2 into t 2t t minus 2 into 2 minus 4 plus 1 into root t that is t raised to half dt which is equal to integration 2t minus 3 into t raised to half on multiplying by t raised to half we get 2t raised to t into t raised to half is t raised to 3 by 2 minus 3 into t raised to half dd ok now inside the integration there is subtraction separate the integration sign integration of 2 into t raised to 3 by 2 dt minus integration of 3 into t raised to half dt ok which is equal to uh, there is constant 2 and 3 take outside the integration 2 into integration of t raised to 3 by 2 minus ok 3 constant as it is into integration of t raised to half dt we know that integration of x raised to n x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so, 2 into t raised to 3 by 2 plus 1, it's 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 minus 3 into t raised to half plus 1. Half plus 1 is 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c. After simplification, it becomes 4 divided by 5 into t raised to 5 by 2 minus 3, 3 get cancelled. 2 t raised to 3 by 2 plus c. Now, resubstitute the value of t is x plus 2. So final answer is 4 divided by 5 into x plus 2 bracket raised to 5 by 2 minus 2 into t is what x plus 2 bracket raised to 3 by 2 plus c. Okay, which is the final answer of the given integration. Okay, hope you hope you understand all the examples of today's lecture till then thank you